Today I'm going to talk about a set of problems that are described as follows and I'm going to give you a specific example and later on we're going to generalize this a little bit. What you see lately a lot on the internet is things like this. So the question is asked whether this is bigger or smaller than 29 to the 31. Okay, so which number is bigger? This one or this one? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to generalize this a little bit. And based on that, we uh, are going to derive which one is bigger and which one is smaller in a more generic fashion. So you cannot only attack things like this, but you can also attack things like this, for instance. Bigger, smaller than 21 to the 39 for instance, okay? So these are the types of problems you can solve. You can go with other numbers also. You can say 50, 50, 48, 52, or something like that, okay? So how do we do that? We're gonna say, okay, this 30 here, we're gonna make N. So we do N to the N, and we ask ourselves, is this bigger or smaller than, and then we have here N minus A, to the power of n plus a. So this is really the question we want to solve. For a, a number, one, two, three, all the way up to nine, for instance, and then see what happens, okay? So if we do this, we can simplify this a little bit, and we can rewrite this into the following. I still don't know which one is bigger or smaller, so I'm gonna leave both in there, and I'm gonna isolate n and I'm going to take that one out and we're going to rewrite it as such okay now we're going to rewrite it as follows we're going to say n to the power of n plus a oh, n plus a we take that out times 1 minus a over n to the power of n plus a okay and this is going to be rewritten as n to the n divided by n to the n because that will be 1 and then we have n to the a 1 minus a over n to the n plus a okay and this as a last step for now is either smaller so now the question becomes is this number bigger or smaller than 1 okay that's kind of the question we redirected it into. Now if you observe the following, this in its limit, if n goes to infinity, and we will later see how quickly that goes, but if n goes to infinity, this will be nothing more than e to the power of minus a. That's what this will be. So then we can rewrite this into and this, by the way, if n goes to infinity, that's a worst case scenario. So if we substitute n to the e now, like we do here, okay, then this is really a worst case scenario because if n is smaller than infinity, it will not reach e, and as a consequence, this number will be bigger anyways. So what you see here is really a worst case scenario, okay? So now we rewrote, essentially, this formula here, which is a proxy for all these different exercises that you can do, and we rewrote it into answering the question, is this bigger or smaller than E? Okay, so now before we go answer this question, let me first show you some graphs. And these graphs will show you how fast it converges with respect to N. So you see nine graphs here n is on the horizontal axis here, and the error, which is the deviation between e to the power of minus a, minus that function that I wrote down here, right? So minus this piece here, divided by e to the minus a, because that's where it's converging to, for various values of e. And of course, this is a value between zero and one. And that's what you see here in every graph, right? It's one is its maximum, then there is a horrible approximation but when, once n goes up you see that the approximation gets better and better and this reaches e to the power minus a and as I stated before this is a worst case scenario 
right? So even for big A's here, where the convergence goes really slow, so you need really big N numbers for it to converge, it really doesn't matter because the value is smaller, and as a consequence, um, the overall value, because you power it to the power of 9 in this case, right? Because that's what you do here. You go to the power of A here, right? And even if is this is a little bit smaller, you can already see that this number is always bigger than 1, right? For N sufficiently large. And you can see that here in these graphs also. It really doesn't matter how fast it converges in this case. If you sit at a certain number of N, say 10 plus, it will always work for you. No matter if A equals 1 or A equals 9. So given that information, you can already tell if N is, for instance, 3 or more, this number is bigger than 1, right? So if N is 3 divided by E, even if it's E, E is not reached because N doesn't get to infinity, this number will be a little bit smaller. This will still be bigger than 1. You power that to a certain power of 1 or more, and you will still be okay. The number will still be bigger on the right hand side than it is on the left hand side. So going back to examples over here, you can immediately see that things like 50 over 50 divided by, f or is that bigger or smaller than 4852? Well, this number is clearly bigger because of this reasoning, right? So now we can say 5050 is really smaller than 4852. And 3030 is really smaller than 2839 even. And 3030 is really smaller than 2931, etc., etc., etc. So now you can solve all these kinds of problems with just this little assessment and realizing that this really converges to an e to the power of minus a. Okay, I think this is a great place to stop. If you like this video, please subscribe, share with your friends, please like, and I'll see you in the next one.